Ariel. Could you give some examples of how a non-resident may still be considered as domiciled in a certain state? Obviously important with respect to high tax states like California and New York. So I'm assuming that the, the scenario is that it's a US person, so green card, passport, and they're now living in Israel and you're wondering how can I still be stuck to a state? We see it most often with a state like Virginia. Where so from so like New York and California, California will say, well, if you don't have uh, any real estate empty in California waiting for you to occupy, and you are not spending any time in California, and you are bona fide resident of Israel, then they will probably be comfortable with saying, well, you're not California resident. Similar to New York, if it is you don't have like a co-op or you have your condo, you have your your home you have a home that's available, it's just empty, it's not being rented out, that's that's a key thing, then New York could probably be satisfied. But there are states like Virginia that will say, well, your last state of residence before you left the US was Virginia, and you may still maintain a Virginia driver's license, maybe you're still registered to vote in Virginia. Virginia is, is, tends to be pretty aggressive. They may say, well, we know you're bona fide resident of Israel, but we still consider you a resident of Virginia as well. So what we do in terms of our consulting is we'll uh, coach our clients. You need to sever tax residents, even if it's New York or California, pick one of the eight states without an income tax. So, you know, your Florida, Nevada, Texas, popular states, and make sure you're registered to vote in one of those states, get a driver's license in one of those states, hold mail in one of those states. We can coach you through that. So that if there's ever dispute, you can, uh definitively demonstrate that you are not still domiciled in, in virginia or new york or whatever you are florida you're you are texas as the case may be so i hope that helps but again 50 different states 50 different rules Please subscribe, like, share, and comment below. Our books and upcoming events are available at htj.txt. Email us at help at htj.txt to engage us to advise on international tax or business matters.